eta kingi Māori, kingi tuheitia, eta rangatira, kokoe tera, kua rore atunai, ki te kahui rangatira o te kingi tanga. Haere, haere, haere hoki atura. Eta maktu ar ariki koto ko tofano, kia kaha, kia maya, kia mana wanui. Wakato tai nui ete motu tena koto katoa. To mako ariki to your family, to Waikato tai nui, our thoughts and our aroha are with you all today. Kingi Tuhetia, it was just over a week ago that we talked, just you and I. And I was thanking you for your warm hospitality yet again as we gathered here at Turanga Waiwai. You talked with optimism and positivity. You laughed, you were kind, and you were gracious as always. That is the Kingi Tuhetia that I will remember. I would not know that that would be our last conversation. You have gone too early. Today we gather to honour King Ituhetia to share in the grief of his passing. And as I said at Koronehana, King Ituhetia built on the legacy of his mother, Dame Te Ata. He was a leader whose commitment to the Kingitanga, to Māori and to all New Zealanders has been felt right across the country. When I came to Koronehana, I also spoke about following in the footsteps of my National Party predecessors. And I would like to acknowledge Dame Jenny Shipley Sir Doug Graham and Sir Don McKinnon, who are with me today. And I also bring heartfelt messages from Jim Bolger, Sir Bill English and Sir John Key, who regret that they cannot be here with us in person today. Jim and his wife Joan asked to convey their prayers and condolences, saying that Kingi Tuhetia was a source of calm in times of challenge and a leader not just for the Kingitanga, but for the people of Aotearoa, New Zealand. Sir Bill told me of Kingi Tuhetia growing into the mana of the Kingitanga and when it mattered for his people and for the country, wielding that mana with great patience and wisdom. And Sir John also sends his thoughts and says he will always treasure his time with Kingi Tuhetia. He always welcomed me and was focused on ways that we could work together. He will be greatly missed. Kingi Tuhetia was a humble leader and it was through that personal humility that he held his influence. Whether he was in Kororo with King Charles III, working with Pacific leaders, supporting the New Zealand Olympic team, or operating a digger or truck. His contributions to the life of this country will leave an indelible mark. His love for Kapahaka and Tamatatini, his wise leadership during COVID and in the aftermath of Cyclone Gabriel, and his commitment to Kotahi Tanga, unity, will have a lasting impact on our country. Kingi Tuhetia, your words and your exhortation for us all to embrace Kotahi Tanga will be remembered. Just a week ago at this very place, you said, we need to focus on getting in the waka and working together. Mana Motohake has room for everyone. And you said growing together is crucial. We've come a long way as a country and we can, we can go even further. We heard you, Kotahi Tanga, unity, this is the pathway forward. The days ahead will be filled with enormous sorrow, but also enormous pride. As we come together to honour Kingi Tuhetia's memory, let us reflect on the profound impact that he had on our country. Let us remember his dedication, his work to uplift the health and the well-being of Fano, his commitment to Mokopuna and his passion for Tao Māori. In closing, there is a waiata that we so often sing and commonly across this whole country of ours. And these words, I think, sum up what Kingi Tuhetia has left for us. Ta auraha, ta whakapono, me te rangi māori ei, tātou, tātou ei. Love, hope and peace for us all. That is the Kingi Tuhetia that I will remember. Kingi Tuhetia, haere atora, haere atora.